How's it going, everybody? Happy Sunday. Hope you guys had an amazing weekend. As per your new usual content, me and Scott are going to be back here on Sundays breaking down events for you today. Scott, we're breaking down the events. How are we looking for this week's Marvel Strike Force? Uh, it looks good. There are obviously some things that we don't know until the event goes live, but um, I think it's it's fine. Everything's fine. Until it's not, it's let's break fine. it down. <laughs> All right, let's start with the after school projects. Team up, level up. So what is this event like, and uh, what should we expect from the difficult perspective to finish it? So this is the web milestone aspect. It is eight days not like every 24 hours for eight days, thank God. Um, and it feeds into the main event, the main solo event, which is the Along Came a Spider. Um, it is for earning Alliance credits. Um, usually, like I tell people, like save your daily the before, like the, the day the event starts um, and don't collect the boxes the day before, but this one, it looks very easy to complete. Um, unless something changes, but even in preview, it looks the same as the blog. Um, so just do your daily donation, collect your boxes. If your alliance is not full, the good news is you actually only need to collect three donation boxes a day uh, on top of like collecting your donation daily um, points, which is the solo thing. Um, so that'll help people. If you're you're missing a couple people, don't worry about like coring it or anything like that. Just the 10k gold, which is great. There you go. Yeah, 3,200 over the eight days does not seem very extraneous whatsoever. So that's good news. So let's move on over to that main event you were alluding to. The along came a SP slash slash or power up your mech. Looks like we're doing some raid battles. We'll be looking at for this event. Uh, so once again, the web milestone that we talked about, so that gives us 40 K points. Um, it gives us four of the orbs that have penny shards in it. Um, and then it gives like milestone points. Um, I, I guess what the daily free claim would be. Um, it might be less, uh, than that. So, you know, be sure to check the discord after it goes live. Cause I'll post updated math on the day. Mm -hmm. um, the Friday free claim usually contributes as well. Once again, I won't know that until Friday. So I'll update it when we get that. Um, and then this is then coming down to rating with the new um, characters for the team. Mm -hmm. um, Peter, Pav and Penny. Um, last time we had to do this. It will only spenders had penny um, but you will unlock her during this event and you only have to use them once because there's a limit on the points um but some people are gonna you know buy her or max her at this so i kind of basically did a breakdown of kind of what the max would be um if you have all of them at seven yellow uh and then the the rest of this is then earning orb fragments from iso nodes okay um I, I had been saving ISO since this was in the blog, um, just because we don't tend to need ISO as much. Mm -hmm. um, save it and see if it changed anything. But, but honestly, like when I was doing the math, looking at what I had saved, I don't think it really changes very much. Um, but I thought it would be nice to try. Um, obviously, I don't know what the orb fragment drop rate from the ISO nodes is going to be. I use six based on the last one that we had on ISO nodes. Um, if that changes, I suspect it would be worse, not better, uh, but I'll update it. And so this was just kind of doing fifties and a hundred, starting with 150 energy. Um, but obviously if you like saved a bunch of ISO energy, that might help you here. Um, but milestone 19 is achievable, which is almost completing it. Um, but just not quite, uh, yeah. But that's with having all your characters at seven yellow stars, right? This would be the, uh, yeah. The extremius side. Let's look at a different perspective. This will get us to milestone 17. This looks like it's just using each of the characters once at a free to play level. So no five yellow star in any of them. And then we're still doing 50 cores and 100 core refreshes on the ISO campaign. Is that right? Yeah, not on the bonus day, okay. um, but this will at least get you to milestone 17. Um, and 17 did have some crimson gear, like mm. some armor cast, basic cats, uh, resistant cats, not the good ones that you need. Right. Uh, but you do get a whole diamond orb out of it um, because there's like a thousand at 16 and a thousand at 17. Yeah. Um, so I guess if you have a bunch of cores and you uh, like, it's not just getting points for this event. Like you're also coring it to get more orb fragments to open more shards for Penny. So I guess you kind of just have to see 
how much of her you want to get out of this. Um, and how good the orbs are. Like, we don't know how good these yeah. orbs are even going to be. It was gonna oh, be they'll be dropping. trash. Come on. You know they'll be trash. Yeah, we know we know they're going to be pretty bad. <laughs> all right, and this is at the, the lowest end. This will be for Milestone 16. So, again, we're using all the characters once, but we're only doing the 50 core refreshes now, right? Well, using them once and, like, just like the one we talked about earlier, it was basically just having them unlocked because if you mm -hmm. didn't buy any offers, you don't have them in 5 yellow. Um yet um you might have peter at five yellow maybe during the event because he's in the next pass perhaps um depending on how many shards you have of him already yeah uh, but this was what i think is probably maybe the more reasonable for people um to go for which is like having the three characters not five yellow uh, and just doing the 50 core refreshes which will get you to milestone 16 which is half a diamond orb yeah, that's still not bad. When you look at the, the monthly item being on Milestone 13, so way far back. So you probably don't need to core the ISO campaign at all to get the monthly no. stuff done here. So the extra no. stuff is nice. And uh, I know from a new player's perspective, I still need ISO, so it doesn't hurt from that campaign for me. The only downside will be at a, uh, a core budget. Right now, I know a lot of people in the super early game that this would really only affect the super early game. Um, they're trying to save up training mats and you don't get training mats from using your cores on the ISO campaign. But uh, not not too shabby rewards. So the, the bulk of the penny shards, are they're, they're going to come from the orbs. Because we're only going to be getting, what's this? Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 free-to-play penny shards from milestones up to milestone 12 for this. So we're expecting to get at least 60 from the orbs, it looks like. So uh, take that for what you will as far as how good the orbs are going to be, I guess, right? <laughs> right on. Well, I guess we also got some, some shards for her on uh yesterday no nope, on friday rather uh all right and that leads us to our oh actually no it doesn't it doesn't we got to talk about the dreaded leaderboard of doom all right so we do have a leaderboard for this along camp penny event so uh this is where people are going to be definitely coring that iso campaign to try and compete here we got diamonds for penny we got crimson tech gear we got crimson raid orb fragments how competitive do you think this is going to be? And why don't you speak to us a little bit on um, your evaluation of those Crimson Raid orbs? Because we were talking about this earlier. So I have a feeling this is going to be a much more chill leaderboard. Um, one, we just had a leaderboard for tech um, minis. And it's a little bit weird that we're having another one. Yeah. Um, and by a little bit weird, I mean definitely calculated because they know tech is probably the one mini we need the least yeah yeah everybody bring your <laughs> your, your doc Hawk, i guess um also penny like penny diamonds like she's not a dark promotion character like she's a good character but like not a lot of people are going to have her at seven to really take advantage of the diamonds anyway yeah yeah um she, it's just so weird just we, i feel like they just like pulled something out of a hat for this one because they're like we don't know what to do we don't want to give them any bio yeah let's just do these random things we're not ready we, to do the scroll diamond auction yeah yet, that sort of thing oh <laughs> uh, yeah 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 i agree i agree it's a little bit lackluster there but hey that's that's not so bad that's fine uh and that'll lead us into the last well it's kind of the last event the Allied Arachnids. I guess this is also going to be doing raid battles and earning that Allied Supply Orb Fragment. Uh, did we already talk about this? No. No. Okay, so what are we looking at here? <laughs> it just seems very familiar because we are, we're doing raids and we were earning credits before, yeah. right? Uh, not like it was Alliance credits for donations. And okay. We were, it was raiding with Spider Society, but it wasn't like using them multiple times okay um so this is separate and i mean if you're gonna do a play raid battle like i've told them like it should be an alliance milestone in my opinion because when you make it solo and have it kind of need like high raid battles per person it becomes really difficult because then you really have to make sure everyone's getting a fair share yeah so it just like becomes a lot of like micromanaging for alliance leaders that i i don't think is fun healthy either. um yeah so this one is like the Alliance and it's, it is a little bit higher than the previous one. Like the last one I think was 10 battles um, per person uh, per day. Um, but like 12 battles, like on average between everybody with Greek raids and incursion raids should still be very obtainable for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, 
I estimated what the free claim was, and I basically just went based on what the last one um, for the five day event with one was, which is eight hundred. Okay. Um, I think it's really skimpy. They should really be giving us at least a thousand. But uh, based on uh, eight hundred, that'll get you at least a milestone sixteen. Not bad. Um, sixteen is just shy of the crimson gear, which makes sense. But it does have. Um, there are some shards for Spider Society in there at the end. Uh, Peter, there's 15 of him and Peter, uh, and 15 of Pav. Yep. Um, but like the the crimson stuff and the diamonds, well, the one diamond for Noir, who um, <laughs> are higher. Yeah, not so bad. It looks like those monthly items are going to be ending at 13. So at least those seem like they're going to be all obtainable. Uh, that yep. seems like a nice, healthy little change. I got some. T1 ions, interesting choice. Um, basic T2 iso orb fragments, cool. And they, okay, we do have T4 and T5 ions, so we got some stuff going on here. Yeah, it looks like uh, you know just a, your average, your average alliance event milestone that they put up there. Nothing to sweat over too much. Uh, I know the big boy alliances they like to get those those red crimson gears, regardless every single time. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but that's going to be it for the main events, guys. Make sure you head on over to the Discord so you can keep up with Scott Lee, Scotty's monthly tracker of the meta event so you can make sure you're on track to finish it. I know a lot of people were sweating the last one, the last leader one. So if you know you're in the same boat as everybody else, then you're, you know you're safe kind of thing. So why don't you talk us through what where we should be at now, Scotty? Um, so basically I wait till we have the Friday free claim and then I do this once I know all the numbers cause it changes sometimes every week. Yeah. Uh, but then I'll just keep posting like week one, week two, and I'll have like a running tally on the total, um, which seemed helpful for the leader one. Cause we all knew that we didn't need to get all of the web milestone ones for the shiny coins and the yeah. 24 hour thing that was super annoying to do. Yeah. Um, there is the mission supplies is like the monthly item, obviously. Um, and so there's the daily free claim, which is a bit lower um, than the leader one. Um, and like the first week is actually much lower um, than the first week with leader. But the next week I think is looking much higher because of the Alliance milestone. We'll have extra mission supplies in there. Um, this includes like the quick rumble. Um, the quick rumble seems very consistent to be giving us 11K each time. Um, and then the Friday free claim we had, um, was a bit lower than the leader one, um, we had before, but I, I think it will all balance out, but I'll keep, I'll update every week so you can kind of see where we're at. Yeah, guys, link to the discord is in the description below. Uh, and yeah, as Scotty talked about, there is a quick rumble. We got it here. Mother's day is coming up guys. So make sure you show your mothers or your wives who happen to have birthed you children, some love and, uh, get that quick rumble done in their honor, I guess. Cause they totally care about that for sure. All right, well, you know what, Scotty, before we sign off, we haven't had your opinion officially done on the YouTube yet about the old man Logan situation. How are you feeling about uh, hearing that news? Um, I had mixed feelings on it. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's dumb. I think the way it was was good because people that were really sweaty and had smaller teams could get through it. Um, I, I I guess I'm not surprised at the same time because I felt like we've been in the Scourge thing for a while and compared to like the previous like legendary unlocks, the Scourge always got you this legendary character. And I don't know if people remember the previous legendary events where like some people just didn't get the character on yeah. the initial unlock and you had to wait for the next one. So I, I think it's so good that you're still going to get the character because we used to not get it at all if you didn't have the, well, I think it was five yellow you had to have all yep. the unlocks at. And they were usually super random characters. Um, yep. Omega Red was Secret Avengers with Winter Soldier, who was not on a team at the time, and Nick yeah. Fury, also not on a team. And yeah. the first Omega Red event... Uh, happened the second one everyone was waiting for mega red took like eight months or something to come back yeah so like i feel like if this was like you're not gonna unlock him at all it would it, it would be much much worse and i guess i do have that like i've been playing this game for way too long um and remember the days of where i just didn't unlock characters from the very start sometimes yeah and had to wait for it to come back around 
I wish they didn't change it, but I, I guess I can understand that they're probably not making the same amount of money because people aren't buying the characters to unlock the legendary anymore. Yeah. So I I foresaw it happening. I just at the same time wish it wasn't happening because I feel like they're making so much more money from other aspects of the game that they didn't used to that the Scourge was this nice thing where it was like, everyone just get in there and do it and do your best. Um, and like sometimes having a bigger character was actually a bad thing. Like I remember you would complain sometimes about like a, like certain characters being too big uh, compared to others and them getting targeted on certain nodes. So sometimes like actually having them bigger was worse. Yeah, there was some awkward interactions for a few of them. Yeah. I, I, I would also say like there's a lot of people who say like, oh, this is just to appease the Kraken so they don't have to compete with anybody. I would just like to challenge anybody to go back to any of the leaderboards for any of the past legendary characters and find someone who wasn't a whale or kraken that was in the top 50. They always won anyway because although it didn't gate like although you weren't gated out their team powers were so much higher they were able to equip like health modifiers and stuff like that. That's how the krakens were winning anyway. This is literally just so Scopely is gating it so that people spend to be able to enter those dimensions. I'm also curious to see how this is going to affect the leaderboard. Like, um, how many people are going to be getting a seven star now? I, I assume it's still going to be the top 500 people, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I, I wonder also if this is their way of dealing with the tiebreaker issues that they were mm. having. Because there were so many people that were getting such similar scores and having to run it. Like, I do wonder if this is going to make it less intense on the people that you know, already we're having them maxed out and now they're not going to be dealing with as much of the tiebreaker issue. Right. Um, I do think there are some Krakens that did not get a seven sometimes because they just didn't care enough. And now those people are going to get into it, but I don't think there's a large amount of them. I think the same people that were already getting them mostly as a majority are still going to be in that group. Um, but I do know a lot of them celebrated this change. Oh no, I don't <laughs> like hearing that. Yuck. <laughs> All the Krakens I know that I communicate with regularly are actually good at the game. So that's that's worrisome if there's others that are anyway. I definitely saw celebrations and I just went la 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 la. <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. <laughs> Here, I would challenge you on the tiebreaker thing though because there's going to be a giant pileup of ties for people doing difficulty 10 with all the packs equipped. Because none of the packs yeah, look game breaking. But... But I think it's the same amount that would have been doing it anyway, except there's going to be less less other people. Like, I still think it's going to be less. Hmm. In my, because just because you can do it with that character doesn't mean you necessarily can't. Like, I think it might... Like, we weren't doing the max difficulty on all these Scourges, right? Uh, Before. Since Rogue, I think we were. We did difficulty 10 on Rogue and on Red Hulk. Uh, Archangel. It was only Morgan the Fay we did difficulty eight on. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We always found a way, and then people would spend hours and days and days doing it. Thanks. But to now some... there's going to be even more difficulties on top of that. So maybe yes. like, maybe it won't be a matter of fact of everyone's going to be able to do it. Like there's going to be a gate which was going to thin the herd a bit lower down, but like maybe that max difficulty is still not going to be doable. I don't know. Yeah, fair enough. I also wonder if there's going to be enough numerical people doing difficulties 11 to 15 that that is going to be the leaderboard and then there's going to be percentages for everybody else doing difficulty 10 and lower and then then that's going to be easier to kind of combat tiebreakers. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, we both agree. Poopy, poopy, stinky, stinky. And I uh, hope everyone has a great week with these easy to understand events. It's, it's nice to get back to easy to understand events. Yeah, I love it when it's not three days of one thing, three days of another thing, then this random thing in there. Oh, this daily web milestone that you have to keep track of. Yeah, that your that your alliance mates have to keep track of you keeping track of it. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for us. We're going to go take off. We're going to go watch some X-Men. Hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful end of your weekend and a great start to your week. Uh, but for now, stay happy. I'll be fun. We'll talk soon. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.